Hello viewers, welcome to Mill Insight. China has publicly disclosed the successful test of its near-space, wide-area aircraft, known as the MD-19, marking a significant milestone in its uncrewed aerial vehicle UAV development. This is the first time the advanced high-speed system has been officially revealed, according to Chinese media reports. The MD-19 was developed by the Huchen Shuesen Science and Technology Youth Task Force, a Chinese research team named after the renowned aerospace engineer. The team reported completing five categories and nine distinct flight experiments during the tests. The MD-19 was launched from both a TB-001 twin-tailed drone and a high-altitude balloon. Footage shared on social media shows the MD-19 being released mid-flight from the TB-001 before landing on a conventional runway. However, it remains unclear whether the test involved powered flight or if the vehicle relied solely on gliding to descend. Imagery suggests the MD-19 measures approximately 8 to 11 feet in length, making it shorter than its predecessor, the MD-22, which was unveiled as a hypersonic testbed two years ago. The TB-001 drone, which served as the launch platform, spans nearly 33 feet. The MD-19's development underscores China's growing capabilities in hypersonic and near-space technologies, areas that have become a focal point of global defense competition. Near space, the atmospheric layer between traditional airspace and low Earth orbit, has emerged as a strategic domain for reconnaissance, surveillance, and advanced weapon systems. The successful test highlights China's ongoing progress in hypersonic vehicle development, an area closely monitored by defense analysts worldwide. Hypersonic aircraft, which can operate at speeds exceeding Mach 5, are particularly valued for their ability to evade traditional missile defense systems and execute precision strikes. China's emphasis on wide-area UAV systems aligns with its broader strategy of expanding near-space and hypersonic capabilities to enhance both military and civilian applications. 